If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Ed Fikasi here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video. So today, guys, there's the final part of the Backyard Ballers promo. So, But before we get too deep into that, guys, let me address yesterday's non-upload. Uh, I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. I ended up having to do some adulting. And so, therefore, I did not have the time yesterday to go out and make a video on Edrin James. But I will make it up to you guys when I do make a ne my next um, video, my next gameplay, whatever that may be. Uh, hopefully, it's relatively soon. But whenever I do make my next uh, upload for the gameplays, I will throw Edrin James in there. So, it will be a double player gameplay. So, whatever that is, could be it could be very soon, actually, because of the free agency promo. They might have... A couple of free agency masters that get all team chems. Uh, but we'll touch on that here when we get there. So, uh, for the content, guys, we got Backyard Ballers Part 4. That is coming out today. And then Heavyweights coming tomorrow. LTDs are coming on Thursday. And then Free Agency. Uh, we thought it was going to be Friday. But uh, TJ, uh, TJ uh, said on stream today that they could be we could be expecting the Free Agency promo earlier than Friday. So, we could get it tomorrow at the earliest. We could get it Thursday. My my money is, is going to be on, uh, my money is, is probably going to be tomorrow. Uh, just because, you know, LTDs, you know, being on Thursday. It could be tomorrow, but I wouldn't be shocked if it was Thursday. So, and then we obviously have UL, so. Uh, but for the um content itself, so we'll move on from it. Let's talk about Randy Moss here for the LTD. Uh, for the final part of the backyard ballers, 97 speed, 98 man, 97 zone, 98 press. Uh, you know, he's really good, especially with, you know, his size and frame, uh, being one of the better corners in the league, in the game. I think he's the best corner in the game now. Uh, but he has deep row KO and mid zone KO, which I don't necessarily know if it is, um, if it is like good abilities, because I know deep route KO is really insane, but mid zone KO I don't think is as good. But you know we'll wait and see because you know mid zone KO actually mid zone KO hasn't even been good for a while, so it is what it is with that. But for then we can move on to the little ones, uh, the little uh, elite. So first off we have Kevin Williams for the uh, Seahawks, Saints, and uh, Vikings. So not bad for a budget. It's not bad. It's an offensive lineman. It doesn't really matter that much. Then we have Antonio Gates for the Chargers. You know, 96 finesse move. Not the not bad, not bad. This is actually a solid budget item. You know, solid budget edge rusher if you want for your Charger Steam team. 93 speed, 96 finesse move. Not bad. Uh, then we have Kevin Mawai, run stopping outside linebacker for the Jet for the Giants, for the Jets, Titans, and Seahawks. Uh 88 speed. Yeah, th this card's not the best. It's just it's not very good. You know, the play rack is still pretty pretty crap. You know, uh, and then 96 block jetty is pretty bad too uh but they also have katarius tony who's actually not that bad for a budget qb in my opinion for a budget scrambling quarterback 93 speed and then you got uh you know some solid accuracy stats and he does get human joystick for like i think they said it was three ap and then fearless for one ap so that's some that's some solid you know ap right there obviously you do want like a pass you want pass lead elite on him as well but i think actually i don't even think you can get past lead no nope, you can 93 overall is when scramblers unlock pass lead elite. So you throw a pass lead elite on them, you'd be spending about eight AP on your quarterback, which not bad. You know, it's about average, give or take. Uh, then we have Patrick Peterson for 94 overall. Uh, Pat Pete, 96 speed, uh, route runner, wide receiver. He does get playmaker for three AP and then return man for one AP. I don't necessarily know how I feel about this Pat Pete card. It looks okay, but, you know, having to have return man, you know, is just not that great uh then we also have devin hester for the um vikings ravens um F vikings not vikings falcons ravens seahawks and bears you know 95 speed 95 man 93 zone he's okay i probably won't pick him up because i i just don't need him but you know he's okay you know, the speed is not very good. I wish the speed was about 97 speed. If the speed was 97 speed on this Devin Hester, I probably would actually, I would definitely go grab him and probably actually start him at third corner because we do, I am still trying to figure out that third corner spot, honestly. But uh, yeah, this Devin Hester is not, not that great. Then we have for the final, uh, hot, not final boss, final champions. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, so the final champions, uh, we have uh, full fullback Trent Williams. 
90, 90 speed, 96 run block, 97 lead and impact block. Um, not bad. You know, he's just mainly a goal line. Go oh, it's a bit of a voice crack there. I apologize. Uh, but a bit of a, just a goal line back, honestly, you know, or even just like a, blo a blocking, like a, just a lead blocking bat fullback. Like he really, I don't, I don't think he's going to be that sought after, not that sought after. I don't think he's going to be that heavily involved in the running game with an 82 carrying, but you know, he's got some solid abilities, you know, identifier and honorary alignment for, uh, one AP a piece, I think is what it was. Um, so, I mean, those could be very good. Uh, and then lastly, we have free safety, Julio Jones, 96 speed, 97 man, 97 zone, 94 hit power, uh, you know, nine acrobat and deep out zone KO for one AP each. So we got two AP for those. Uh, obviously he gets Falcons and Titans cam. So but, you know, Julio Jones looks really good as well. Uh, I, th I think he is 6'3", if I remember correctly. Julio Jones is 6'3". Uh, so, obviously, it's going to benefit him tremendously to have that extra size. Uh, and then, actually, ha you know, having the Falcons cam. And then, if you have 25 backyard ballers, you get plus 3 to his speed. So, overall, I think I like this uh, Julio Jones very, very much. I think it's one of the better safeties in the game. Uh, but with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for the video, obviously. You know, like I said, like I said, I I completely forgot to upload yesterday, so I do apologize. But with that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new. There are still about 80% of you, 80 plus percent of you that are watching these videos that are not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys could don't go ahead and do that for a quick second, that would be greatly appreciated. But I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.